Hi, this is Larry Troca, and today I'm going to address the problem of horses that uh, you know unload real fast out of the trailer. You know, they they bolt backwards and hurt themselves, or you know, hurt their hurt their handler. Uh, it's a dangerous problem. You know, we've all seen it. You know, you untie a horse, uh, and as soon as you untie him, he goes flying backwards out of the out of the trailer. And, um, you know, I wanted to, we're just going to do an, an audio here today. Um, you know, I wanted to, to include a video of the problem, but, I, you know, I just didn't have a horse in the barn that, that has that, that unloading problem. Um, and so, you know, I had nothing to video. But it, it's such a dangerous problem, and it's such a common problem, you know, I thought I'd just address it this way and offer a solution, um, you know, so if you own a horse like that, you can, you can fix it. And basically what, you know, what caused me to, uh, you know, kind of triggered me to do this, this, uh, this audio is a couple days ago, one of my members sent me an email, you know, asking for help with this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and, and read the lady's email so you know exactly, you know, what's taking place. And then at the end of the email, I'll offer a solution that I think, you know, will fix the unloading problem. Okay. So the lady's email starts out with, Hi Larry, I really enjoy your horse training tip emails. They're really helpful. Uh, I have an all-around horse that I show that has a bad habit that I need help with to fix. The problem is he bolts out of the trailer backwards as soon as he knows he's untied. This is dangerous for anyone in the immediate area as he often gets scraped up while doing so. I'm told this is a hard habit to break. I've tried ground working with him, uh, backing him up, you know, and when I ask him to back through a doorway, he quickly moves to the side to avoid it. He's okay going through doorways and into the trailer while moving forward. My trainer suggested backing my horse trailer up to a lake and opening the door and letting him blast into the water <laughs> to frighten him into not bolting backwards, but I'm not sold on that as a solution. Can you send me any tips you might have had success with? Thank you so much. And she signs her name at the bottom, and uh, I'm not going to reveal the lady's name. Well, I guess I can say her, her first name. Her first name is Penny. So, so anyway, um, you know, Penny has sent me an email here. It's a good email. It's a common problem. I, I get emails like this quite often. And you know, if, if, uh, if you've been around horse shows or, or, uh, any kind of, any kind of activity where people are, are trailering horses, we've all seen horses that just fly backwards out of the trailer. And you know, it's a dangerous thing. You know, it's a dangerous for, for people around and it's dangerous for the horse too. It can easily get hurt. And, um, you know, and, and of course, when a horse, you know, has the habit of flying backwards out of the trailer, if you pull on his lead rope while he's going backwards to try to stop him, I mean, he just throws his head up and hits the top of his head, you know, on the roof of the trailer and uh, skins himself all up, you know, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a catch-22, you know, it's kind of a vicious circle, you know, so a lot of people just live with it. Um, but you don't have to live with it. It's not that difficult to fix, and I'm going to give you a good solution how to fix it. Now, before I go to that solution, though, I want to I want to address address something in this email um, because this is also a common thing that I hear. The part of this email where she says my trainer suggested backing the my horse trailer up to a lake and opening the door and letting him blast into the water to frighten him into not bolting backwards. <laughs> and she's not sold that this is a solution. I'm glad she's not sold on that solution. It goes to show that she's smarter than her horse trainer. And you know, to tell you the truth, I seriously doubt that her trainer is a professional horse trainer. Uh, I can't picture a professional trainer, especially a professional show trainer, suggesting something like that. My guess is she has a part-time trainer you know, probably some girl that, uh, uh, that likes working with horses and goes with her to the shows, you know, more than likely something like that. But if somebody suggests something like that to you and it sounds far fetched, um, or a little on the ridiculous side, chances are it's not going to work 
and best off to not try it. So now that we have that out of the way, uh, I'm gonna go. Let's go ahead and and uh, uh, talk how to, about how to fix this. So most horses uh, develop the problem of of flying backwards out of the trailer, usually because you know someone was was careless unloading that horse in the first place. You know it had to that you know that bad habit had to start somewhere, and you know most most horses you know, the first few times in a trailer, uh, they, they might load okay, you might get them loaded, but then they don't want to back out of the trailer because, you know, it scares them. And so, you know, if you force them back, uh, you know, roughly, you know, jerk their halter hard or whip them on the chest and, you know, make them back out fast, well, you know, they think that's what you want. And, you know, pretty soon they're just flying out of the trailer. And um, there's usually some anxiety you know, involved, you know, they they, they think that's what you want and they're kind of scared not to do it that way. And of course, when they fly backwards like that, that the act of flying backwards out of a trailer scares them also. So it just kind of builds their anxiety about the whole act of unloading. Okay. And so, you know, to fix the problem, you need to break that cycle of, you know, number one, the anxiety out of unloading. And number two, get control of that horse during the entire unloading process. And uh, the way we do that is, number one, we put something on that horse's head that gives us more control uh, than a regular halter. You know, if you have just, with just a regular halter, you're not going to have enough control over that horse's actions or his body to, you know, to fix anything okay so you need to put either a real thin rope halter on him I mean real thin the the um, uh, the little one eighth inch uh, nylon cord and put that right behind his ears and that'll give you a little more control okay and if your horse is really bad you might have to use something more than than that you might have to use a a uh, stud chain underneath the horse's jaw up to the through the halter um, or you might have to use a a uh, lariat come along or a lariat or bridle to get more control of that horse with that on that horse's head you're gonna teach him how to lead real good you know you're gonna stand you're gonna stand back and you're gonna pull on the on the lead and and that horse you know, is going to feel the pressure of, we're, we're just going to call it a war bridle, okay? That's just one easy solution. He's going to feel the pressure of that war bridle, and the instant he takes a step forward, you're going to give him the slack. You're going to reward him for responding to the pull. And you're just going to build on that until any time you pull the lead rope, he comes, you know, trotting up to you. I mean, you get him to where he responds going forward to any kind of pull on his head, Okay. Once you have that done, you know, outside in a pen or, you know, out, you know, in the driveway, wherever, now you're going to, now you're going to go ahead and load your horse up into the trailer. Once the horse is loaded, you know, and you've got your war bridle on him, you you know, just kind of, kind of stand up in the trailer with him. Okay. And when you unload him, try to just get one step back. And with that one step, you know, try to use try to use the lead shank in a way that you can stop him after making one step. Now, more than likely, you're not going to be able to, and you sure don't want to pull on that war bridle, um, you know, real hard while he's in the trailer, or his head's going to fly up and he's going to hit the ceiling of the trailer. So if you can't stop that first step. You go ahead and let him just let him unload. Let him fly backwards. And as soon as he unloads, flying backwards, load him right back up. Pull him right back up into the trailer with that war bridle. Okay, put him up in there, and then pet on him. You know, tell him it's okay. Then ask him to unload again, and try to get just one step backward, and stop him. If you can't and he flies backwards, just let him. As soon as he unloads, you know, as soon as he's on outside the trailer. Pull on that that war bridle, and make him load right back up, and you're just gonna keep you know every time he unloads, you're gonna keep pulling him right back into the trailer, you know, 
every single time. And you're going to do this as much as it takes. It might take, you know, six repetitions. It might take 20 rep repetitions. But you get him understanding that every time he goes flying out of the trailer, he gets loaded right back up, you know, with that war bridle. You're going to pull him in. And once you do that, it's going to dawn on him that flying backwards is not what you want, okay? And again, you're going to load him, and when you unload him, you're going to try to get just one step and stop him. And by after you repeat this 20 times, I guarantee you, he's going to start thinking about stopping, okay? Once you get him to take one step backwards and stop, then pet on him. You know, let him know that that's what you want. And then get one more step backwards. And I don't care if it takes 15, 20 minutes to unload him. You do it one step at a time until he's out of the trailer. And then you make a big fuss about it. You pet on him, tell him he's a good boy. Load him back up into the trailer. Do it again. Get him in the habit of unloading one step at a time. And once you get that accomplished, um, you know, several times, you know, all in one day, your problem is pretty much going to be over. I mean, you may need, need to repeat it, you know, two or three other, you know, sessions, uh, but that's all it's going to take, okay? And really, uh, that's all there is to it. It's a simple, you know, it's a simple cure for a, a simple problem, dangerous problem, but a simple problem. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you with uh, your horse that uh, flies backwards out of the trailer. Um, if you uh, uh, have any questions uh, or comments, you know, go ahead and post them below the video here. Um, if you liked the information I gave in this video, click the like button below the video. Uh, and you might even want to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, just so that, you know, YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. Okay? All right, that's all for now. Take care.